on July the 23rd, 1930. A group of men were invited to attend a meeting here at the Cock and Bear pub by Eli Deeming. The conclusion of that meeting was that Nuneaton was to have its very own carnival with the purpose of raising funds for the General Hospital. That meeting said that a carnival was to be held on September the 13th. The carnival actually took place on October the 18th, 1930. And that very first carnival raised in excess of £1,400. And we'll go now and have a look at some of the equipment that money was used to pay for. We've come up to the Nuneaton Hospitals Museum, uh, which is situated on the George Eliot Hospital site. And I'd like to introduce you to the curator of the museum, Anne Carhill. Anne, we've already been talking about um, how Carnival was started in 1930 with the specific aim of raising money for the then Nuneaton General Hospital. This is um, a faradic machine mm -hmm. and this would be used to stimulate nerves and physiotherapy. Right, okay. Um, so that was more than likely purchased. Yeah. Of course, we do know, don't we, that the carnival purchased an x-ray machine. An x-ray machine, machine Not we did, yes. Not particularly this one, but no. certainly one similar to this. Yeah. So the x-ray machine was bought in 1942. Um, with a donation from the Carnival Committee, along with a donation from the Mayor's Appeal. Yes. Uh, so, and it, that was in use for quite a number of years after that. Oh yes, yeah. machines often would last for around about 20 years or so. So I, I, I don't know if it's true, but I have heard that that machine that we bought was still in use when the Manor Hospital closed down in 19, whatever, 17 something. So. The, it did some good work. More, more, more than likely. Well, <laughs> yeah. yes, machines, once they worked, they would be around for about 20 years or so. OK, so I've also spotted some little bits and bobs as well, um, like in, in this cupboard over okay. here. Um, well, I'm not sure what they'd be used for, but still. Um, we've got some chamber pots and uh, other little knick-knacks that are lying around. Would money that was donated to the hospital be used to buy things like this? Absolutely. The money went into one large pot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not that particular pot. Not that particular no. pot, <laughs> excuse the pun. Yeah. But yes, it went into one large pot and then the money from that would be purchasing things like the bed slippers and even, you know, knives and forks, that sort of really? thing. Really? Uh, yes. And bedding? And bedding. Bedding, bedding yes. It's amazing that Everything, it seems though, every bit of equipment, uh, the hospital had to rely on donations Absolutely. to get. Even eggs. There was even eggs appeal. Oh, so yes, I've read about yeah. that somewhere. I've not quite got my head around that one, but um, yeah, well, eggs. eggs. Yes, eggs. Protein, uh, very important, you protein, see. Protein, yeah. yeah. I've spotted this thing, which I'm not completely daft. I do know a little bit. Iron lung. Yes, quite scary. Uh, and this... What year is this from? This probably dates from around the 50s to 60s. So it? this was just after the birth of the NHS? Yes. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And, it, and of course, even today, in 2005, the carnival is still helping the hospital in some way. Absolutely. Um, you know, and, and other health orientated uh, groups, yeah. etc. Yeah. And hopefully we'll continue to do so for many more years. Mm.